Did I have super lens? Uh. Thanks. Uh. Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to learn how to do layout work for straight top multifocals. We had a rerun last week, and I had realized after watching that one that I have not got to say stuff in a really long time, so. You've gotta be kidding. <laughs> There, I got to say it, and that makes me very happy. We are going to talk about layout work for lined multifocals. And that's all we're going to talk about. And believe it or not, we can wrap this one up in just one session. In lined multifocals, it really all comes down to the lab. If you trust the lab, and they send you consistent good stuff, if you were really, truly sure, of course you're always going to check, but if you were 100% sure that the lab gave you a lens with the proper axis, distance power, add power, you wouldn't even need a lens meter. There's, there's no reason to put a dot on that lens. They're, they're unnecessary because everything works off of the segment. You have a visual reference right there on the lens. It's built in. You can't get rid of it. It's, it's not invisible. It's not something you have to find and mark. We do tend about 99% of the time to use binocular PDs with segments. The reason for that is because you can see the segment. You can generally uh, gauge something by about a millimeter, um, any less than that, and you usually don't notice. But if you have a difference of more than a millimeter in height or separation between them, cosmetically, somebody could notice it, question it, say, you know, your glasses made wrong, that kind of thing. So generally we're working very simple binocular PDs, and it all works off of the segment, which you're about to see, particularly when we get to the blocker. Now what we're not going to talk about, and this is really kind of important here, if you have questions about any of this stuff, just see the website. There's tons of material there, great stuff. We're not talking about how you fit a lined multifocal, not part of this. We're not talking about the lab and how they grind in prism and how they grind in the OC that's up and over. That's a separate thing because all we're doing here is the layout work. We're not talking about surfacing process. We're not talking about the styles. There's a 25, there's a 28, there's a 35, there's a 45. We're talking about a 28, a straight top 28 lined multifocal. We're not going to talk about inset. Inset is one of those things you may very well see on a practical exam. It has absolutely no value for the working daily life of an optician. But again, you might see it on a practical, so you might want to check out the website. And we're not going to talk about value. And what I mean by that is don't think that you're not going to see straight top bifocals. They have their place. Look, I could wear anything. I wear a straight top bifocal when I'm wearing glasses. I like them. They're not going away. Don't think that you're just going to see single vision and progressives. Bearing all this in mind, this stuff, let's take a look at how you do basic layout work for lined multifocals. What do I need here to do the layout work for a lined bifocal? Well, let's take a peek. I don't need that. That's unnecessary. I don't need that. That's unnecessary. I don't need that. I don't need that or that or that. Don't need any of that to solve for this problem. What do I need? I need my frame PD, 5419, 5419 is 73. I need my PD, 73 minus 60 is 13. Thirteen divided by two is six point five. So I need to move my center of my segment in for in decentration to match my customer's near PD 
six and a half in seg, not the OC, the segment. I also need to move it in this position, the vertical. I've got a height of 12. I've got a B of 28. Half of that would be 14 and 14. 12 minus 14, two, I'm gonna move it down two. So six and a half in and down two. That is all I need here. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Nice thing about a line bifocal is you can tell if it's a right or a left just by looking at it. If I could, I'd remove the three dots. They're not necessary here, but they're kind of sort of permanent on super lens, so I'm gonna leave them there. And you can tell this is a right lens, right eye. If I was looking in the distance, I'd be looking here. But when we read, our eyes converge and come down a little bit, in and down. And here's my segment. So this is a right lens. Right eye wire opening. I need to move my segment from here over six and a half millimeters, and from the line, half might be down two. If it were my left, just by looking at it, I could tell this was a left. OC, segment, left eye, distance, converging, left lens. Because we use binocular PDs rather than monocular PDs, I take my frame, Subtract my near PD and I get six and a half in. I'm gonna come over six and a half in and two down. That's where I'd be blocking that lens. That's what I want it to look like. Here is what it would look like in the blocker. Example number one says we have six and a half over and two down. It is worth mentioning again that these are simply inherent in the design of this particular blocker. They are not part of the measuring system. They are not dots coming off of the lens meter. Uh, so you simply need to ignore them if they are in the way. I do apologize, there's nothing I can do about it. As I pointed out in the last video, the bold horizontal lines are five millimeter increments, zero, five, five, 10, 10. And the smaller ones are your millimeter steps. So if my first was a six and a half and two, put in a block. And again, the way this is shot, the camera is above this, so I can't look straight down if I'm off by half a millimeter. Please don't send me hate mail. This one is six and a half over, maybe five, six and a half over, and two down. Because a segment is normally clear, there's no clear indication of where the center of the segment is. So any blocker is gonna have some vertical lines to help you center the segment. In addition to that, many of them do have the pattern of the segment to help you out as well. So that would be zero, that would be one millimeter down, that would be two millimeters down. Two millimeters down. Looks good. I'm centered between that vertical line and that vertical line. Six and a half over, two down. And we are good to go. For our left, six and a half over and two down. Remember to load a block this time. There we go. And my left between my two vertical solid lines, that would be one millimeter, that would be two millimeters. That looks real good. And obviously down and over, good. Example number two. I'm gonna work through this one a little bit slower. Uh, sorry, again, you tend to, tend to have to just look at my back when I do it this way, but I will try to turn around and say hi once in a while. What do we need to solve to do a layout for a straight top 28? I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that or that or that. 
that is all that I need. I have got a frame measurement of 6018. This is a big frame. This is a big giant men's frame. Frame PD 78, distance between centers 78. What else do I need? A 42, a B of 42. 42 divided by 2 is 21. I've got 21 here, 21 there. I've got 17 minus 21 is minus 4. 78, I also need to do 78 minus 54. That's going to be a whopper. 78 minus 54 is 24 divided by 2, which is 12 in. When I go to the blocker, when I pick up that lens, when I have it in my head, when I walk over to it, I'm thinking 12 in, 4 down. Both eyes, 12 in, 4 down. Right bifocal, I can tell by looking at it, my segment is there. These would not necessarily have to be there. There's my segment, I can't do, I can't miss it. Right eye, I would need to move that segment in to match my near PD, near PD of 54. because their eyes are converged, looking down to look through that segment so they can read. Over 12, down four. Over 12, down four. Let's see what it would look like in the blocker. There are two things I wanna mention here. One is, because of the add power and your distance power, especially as add powers go up or distance powers get very high minus or high plus, what you see in the blocker is, it might appear off. It may appear very small or very large or distorted in some way, especially the top of the segment may seem to have almost a, a meniscus uh, curve to it. Don't be surprised. I mean, that's just inherent in the optics of things, minifying, magnifying. Uh, best thing is, you know, just practice. Practice, practice, and double check, get out your PD stick and measure and make sure things are where you want them to be. The other thing is it's kind of easy to get caught up into thinking about the OC. And I would strongly urge you not to do that. Don't overthink this. Everything here works off the segment, center of the segment, and just worry about that. The OC could be anywhere on that lens up and over from the segment depends on the job the parameters the order itself um, all of that is ground like almost like behind the scenes in relation to the segment let's just don't let yourself get caught up in that all right so that is our 12 over and four down notice that my segment is nice and straight across that one millimeter four millimeter mark we're good. Left over 12 and down four. Like I say, just practice, practice, practice. That would be zero. One, two, three, four. Get my segment straight across that four. Line that up horizontal, or I'm sorry, vertical line, vertical line, the solid one. Good. Block. If I was looking at this, obviously my segment would be down, over and down. My OC would be up there. Very good. All right. Example number three. And you may be asking yourself, why do I bother putting all this up here when I just turn around and erase it? I, in some ways, I feel like I should leave it off. In other ways, I think I'm you know, trying to prepare you for any kind of tests or exams you're going to take, particularly practical ones. They're deliberately going to throw all this stuff up here. They're going to put on index. They're going to give you all kinds of information that you don't need. So I want you to practice zeroing in on what do you need.
Now let's go over the numbers. Where do these come from? What does it tell us? If I have a frame PD of 5616, I end up with a frame PD of 72, geometric center opening from I wire to I wire, 72. My near PD, because we're working off the segment, you're reading, your eyes are converged, you're down and in, it's less than your distance PD, usually by four. 58 from 72, your decentration values are always quite large in here because you're doing a near, it's always less, usually two per I than a distance. You have a difference of 14, 14 divided by two each I, you're gonna move that segment seven in. We'll show you that in a second. I have a B of 36. If I take my 36 and I divide it by two and I split my B, I've got 18 above and 18 below, right here. I'm told that the segment height, where that needs to be positioned, where this person isn't gonna be looking at it and it's gonna be in the way, is 12 millimeters. From the bottom of my lens as it sits within the frame using the boxing system, I would want it 12 millimeters up in this frame. If I have a half a B of 18, I take my 12, I take away 18, it means I'm gonna to need to move the top of my segment down six millimeters within this. So let's see what have I got. I've got a left lens, I didn't change this. So let's start with our right as we always would. In my right, I will move in seven and down six. That's what that will look like. We'll see it in the blocker. I'm gonna move it, segment, seven in, and six down. And we'll see that in the blocker. Never forget, you're using 58. You're using your near PD as the reference point, not your distance. And let's see what that would look like in the blocker. Example number three says we're going seven over and six down. Let's load ourselves a block. And seven over, uh, whoop, five, six, seven over and six down, that would be zero, that would be five, that would be six, lined up. That looks good. Looking at that, in the center of my frame, my segment would be down and over. For my left, I'm moving seven over and six down, seven over, Five down, six down. Practice, practice. My left, down, and over. Very good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you are ready to start to finish, please consider becoming a customer of Laramie K for all your uncut lens needs.